going to show you how to solve for x and y um, given two parallel lines. I'll represent the parallel lines by giving these double arrows and being crossed by a transversal. So once we have parallel lines and we have a transversal, we have a lot of special things that happen. Um, what we have is we have corresponding angles we understand are equal to each other. We have alternate interior angles are equal to each other. Same side interior are uh, equal to 180. And same side exterior are equal to 180. Um, so there's a lot of things that happen once we get parallel lines marked by transversal. Um, so I'm just going to kind of work through that and uh, show you a couple ways that we could solve for x and y. The first thing that I, I need you guys to know though is whenever you have a straight line, we know that this is equal to 180 degrees, right? So if you look right here, I have a straight line where I have one part of that line is x, is the angle x, and the other part is 55. So theoretically what I can say is, you know, this whole thing equals 55, but this part's x, and this part is 55. Well, to solve, what I can do is, I can write an equation which says 180 equals 55 plus x. So then I can find the value of x because these are what we call supplementary angles because they add up to 180. So I'll just subtract 55, and I get 125 equals x. And that's really great. That's awesome that I now know that. Because if I have my definitions memorized for what alternate interior angles are, I now know that x and y are equal to each other. So since x is equal to y by alternate interior angles, I can say that y is equal to 125. All right, one last way I could do this is you could also say 55 and this angle right here are what we call alternate exteriors, so we know that they're equal to each other. Then you could say that 55 and y are, again, supplementary, and do the exact same equation. You get y would equal 125. So that's how you do it with parallel lines and transversal.